Hi folks, Buckley here in part three of this lab tutorial. I want to show you just really quickly how to pull in part files for standard hardware off of um, online vendors. So the online vendor that we are going to use a lot in this class is a company called McMaster Car, McMasterCar.com. Um, they're used in a lot of engineering applications. Um, it's something that you're going to find in industry. They're probably the world's leader in online hardware. Um, and they can ship it to you by 10 o'clock the next morning. So pretty amazing. All right, so um, as I mentioned, your fidget spinners, your design is yours, okay? So you get to, to design this how you want. Uh, I've made a fidget spinner design here that is appropriate for a uh, 3D printer. This is a very classic design. Um, one thing I want you to make sure of is that you, uh, you size it appropriately so that it'll actually fin uh, spin in your fingers. Okay, so no exceedingly large fidget spinners here. Um, I'm going to place on my fidget spinner the bearing, so, so I gave you guys uh, the bearing that you will need to use. That bearing is going to go centrally in this fidget spinner, and then I'm going to use some um, weights, just some hex nuts, as inertial weights on the outside. So I need you guys to make sure that you're creating complete drawing packets for your fidget spinner designs. So that would include um, assembly drawings of the bearings actually being inserted here. So uh, there's a temptation, right, uh, to with with the with the bearings and any other hardware that you're using. Um, please make sure that you are not drawing those from scratch. Let me repeat that. We do not need you to draw that hardware from scratch. There's no need to do that. That's not what happens in industry. You wind up importing those files um, from uh, an online provider. So, uh, for example, here's McMasterCar.com. I've gone ahead and I've looked up that particular bearing, right? So um, the, the number, this is the, the product number that went along with it that I gave you. Um, but here is the, uh, the, all of the bearing options that I could possibly have, right? And I have a 59722, which is this guy. It's a 6082RS uh, bearing, 8 millimeter for an 8 millimeter shaft. The housing inner diameter is 22 millimeters. And you'll notice that at McMaster Car, the way that you get to the CAD file is you actually have to go under product detail. So if I go under product detail, um, it gives me a little bit more information about, uh, about the design of this, right? The ratings and everything. But if you go down to the bottom, you'll notice there's actually a complete part drawing. Okay? I do not need you to include this part drawing in your design packet, uh, but I do need you to call out this as a standard piece of hardware. So let's talk about that in, a, in just a sec. So what you want to do first, though, is we need to get this SOLIDWORKS part file downloaded so that we can use it in our assembly. So what you would do here is there's multiple models, right? Um, we're going to use the SOLIDWORKS solid model, save it. It's going to download it, and then uh, it's actually going to open it right away with, with SOLIDWORKS. So, so there's the actual model. Um, of the ball bearing, right, which is pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert that ball bearing here in, into the assembly. So I need to create uh, a, a, an assembly. Um, go ahead and put that ball bearing in. So I'm going to start with my spinner being my base. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert the ball bearing. It's going to come up kind of odd. So I'm going to kind of get it like this. And then I'm going to use a uh, concentric mate. To line it up. I'm going to go ahead and lock the rotation. Uh, and then I want this to recess properly, right? So typically the way this happens is you kind of punch it in from one side. I'm going to do it from the top surface, so I'm going to make this surface and this surface um, coincident. There we go. We've inserted that bearing. Just to make it absolutely clear for you, if I were to make a drawing from this, so let's say um, I'm going to skip ahead here. I would insert some additional bearings here, or some additional parts as inertial bearings. Um, but let's say I'm going to make a drawing here. Again, I want 
using this by title block. Let me now make a table. On this guy here, I would say that this is standard hardware. And then I'd provide the part number, perhaps. Okay, I would then not need to, folks, I would not need to include a drawing, an engineering drawing for that center bearing. I would just need to do it for the spinner. Okay? Part number's on. All right, that's what I wanted to show you in terms of importing uh, standard hardware off of uh, online providers.